I would like to show you a problem that is an application of the Poisson distribution. First, I'm going to read the problem. An internet bank can, can process a maximum of 25 electronic transfers every minute during the busiest period of the day. If it receives more transfer requests than this, then the bank's computer system will become so overburdened that it will slow to the point that no electronic transfer can be handled. During the busiest period of the day, requests for electronic transfers arrived at the rate of 170 per 10 minute period on average. With this information, I would like that you solve this problem. What is the probability that the system will be overwhelmed by requests? Assume that the process can be described during, uh, using a Poisson distribution. Okay, let's find a solution to this problem. Uh, first of all, even if I don't get the information that this can be described using a Poisson distribution, I'm going to understand that the Poisson distribution will be, a, will be good to model a problem like this. First of all, this is a discrete random variable, the number of electronic transfers that this bank can process. And the number could be 24, 25, 26, 20, etc. This is a, a discrete random variable. And second, we know that the, uh, we know the average of this random variable in a period of time. So we know that in a period of time, in a period of 10 minutes, we, we, this bank can transfer 100, 100, can process 170 transfers. So because we know this, we say, oh, we know that this is a discrete random variable and we know the average in an interval of time or space or whatever interval. So if we know that this, the, the Poisson distribution will be a good model for solving this problem. Okay, I'm going to type here the formula of the Poisson distribution. Remember, the probability of x will be equal, will be equal to e to the power the mean, but negative, uh, times the mean to the power x, and this x is the same x of the question, yeah? divided by x factorial. Again, here appears the value in the question. And here the value of the question if 25 looks that important because I'm looking for the probability that this be overwhelmed. But I know that this, this bank, that this internet bank can process a maximum of 25 electronic transfers. So it, be, it, it, it will be overwhelmed. It, it needs to, to, pro, to process more than 25 electronic transfers. So the probability of being overwhelmed is, to, is the probability of processing more than 25 electronic transfers per minute. Okay, so let's see what information we have. First of all, we have here that 170 is the average in a period. So I'm gonna write lambda equal 170. And I've used lambda for the average in the period of the information I have. So I, I use lambda of the mean that I know. Yeah? The, I'm gonna use this letter lambda. Some textbooks use a different letter for this. Yeah? But I noticed that this lambda is in a 10 minute period. Yeah? But this lambda is not necessarily the one that I need to use here. The one that I need to use here is mu equal lambda t. And this t is the number of periods that appears in the question. The question is, let's see, what is the probability that the system will be overwhelmed? And actually this is the probability of being more of, of, of getting more than 25 electronic transfers per minute. So the period in the question is minutes. And the period that they have here is 10 minute period. This is one minute. 
So t will be the number of these periods that appears in a one minute period. Uh, obviously, in one minute period is only one tenth of this. So I'm going to type this in one minute period. It will be then one. It will be one minute. Will be this period over ten. Yes. Oh, oh, oh sorry. One over ten. Yeah. So it will be t equals zero point one. So I noticed that the this period is one tenth of this period. Yeah. So it will be t equals zero point one. So if t equals zero point one, then mu is actually seven. 170 times 0 0.1 so it will be equal 17 so now I have mu if I have mu now you see I can find the probability that the random variable take whatever value yeah? but the question is what is the probability that the system will be over overwhelmed let's solve this probability that the system will be over overwhelmed by request will be equal this thing will be equal to, and then will be actually the probability of the variable will be more than 25. So that the, the number of, of the, the number of transfers uh, will be more than 25. But finding the probability that the variable will be more than 25 will be equal to the probability that is equal to 26 plus the probability that the random variable is equal to 27, plus the probability that it was equal to 28, plus etc. I'm never going to stop because it, it, this, is, it, this will be possible that maybe 30 or maybe 31. Yes? So in this case, if we do it in this way, adding together all this probability, I want to spend a long time and also I, I, gonna, I also want to find just an approximation because I never I cannot get the last number. So it will be a good idea, better solving in a different way. And any time that we have probability of x more than 25, will be better to write probability of uh, that one sorry, one minus the probability that x is smaller or equal than 25. Why? Because for sure this is something that it can be done so exactly so to find this probability it will be long if you use this formula because to find the probability that x equal less or equal than 25 will be the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability that x equal 1 plus the probability of x equal 1 or, or equal 2 until the probability that x equal 24 plus the probability that x equal 25 when I get all this probability using this formula, for example, probability of zero will be e to the power minus 17 u to the power zero divided by zero factorial. Zero factorial is one. Mu to the power zero is also one. And then you get the probability of zero. Then you use the probability of one, put in one here instead of x, and plug in into the formula number two, you get the probability of 2. When you get all the probability from 0 to 25, you get this number. It will be too long. So for that reason, we use a table. For example, it will be a one way to solve this. In a table, look for a table that have a lambda or a mean equals to 17. And in this table, look for the, the probability, and this is a cumulative probability, of 25. So this will be one idea. The, the best idea for me is using, uh, uh, using Excel. If you use Excel, you, you type in whatever cell of Excel, the formula in this way will be 1 minus the Poisson distribution, the value of x will be 25, the value of the mean will be 17, and you need to tell, you need to tell a cell that this is a cumulative, cumulative problem. Yeah? So you need to find this number here is cumulative between 0 and 25. And when you get this number, you just press enter. Yeah? It's 1 minus Poisson distribution of 25, 17, 1. 
and one because this is a cumulative, uh, the cumulative uh, value. Yeah. So for that reason, the uh, the, the the answer is zero point zero two fifty two. So that concludes my explanation of this problem. Thank you.